How's it going guys? Gonna do a little engine work today. I pulled this one down because it was blocking the other one. That's the setup I wanted to run on here. But uh that's no good. The administrator to the site has contacted me with uh some lists and some su suggestions on different engines and which way to go and which way not to go. Uh some of them sound realistic, you know what I mean? Um, I am learning the differences between a chainsaw engine and a racing engine. Uh, some of them are cast almost identical, the blocks. But if you guys are familiar with two strokes, the way they run these is you have the ports right through the side of the cylinder wall. And some of them have three ports, some have four, whatever it is. But some of the chainsaw engines, they only drill like the two center ports. And they'll leave one port or two ports, ports blocked. So you just don't get the power out of it. So you got to do that to make it somewhat competitive. Um, some of the smaller engines, they won't allow chainsaw engines to be in the class. I learned that. Uh, I also learned, well, I'm starting to learn about the different ways to port the two-cycle engine. How it affects the timing. Which only makes sense because the piston goes by the slot. So if you raise the top or raise the bottom, it affects the timing. Understandable. Uh, some of the engines that we looked at, he they were saying come between four and five horsepower. <clears throat> but with mild porting and a couple of things, they shoot right to 10 plus. So me personally, I think this car would be very enjoyable for me. And pretty cool if you put a uh, a pair of um, there would be Mac 49s, which would be 280 cc engines at about 10 horsepower a piece. I think this thing would be a really sweet ride. How competitive it would be, I'm not sure, because I'm sh there's people tweaking a lot more than that out of it, and I'm sure some of these people are a little lighter than I am, but at least it would get you out on the track and having some fun, not looking to. I'm not looking to make money for my family in a race situation, just looking to have some fun. So with that said, I pulled this one back down. Uh, I'm going to probably run this thing to work right now. I want to open up the side cover, look inside, make sure it is a good engine. I mean, it does run mint, but I want to make sure it's a good engine, and uh, we're going to clean this thing up. I'm going to put it up for sale. So I figured that will help absorb some of the dent of buying one of these engines. Like I said, we're in no rush to get this one done. But if I see something come along, it is Christmas time. People do dump stuff up right before Christmas to get a couple extra dollars. So if I do see something come along, it'll you know, just give me some extra cash to buy it. And I don't have to think about it. Um, and that's about it. So you're going to see a video of this thing probably uh, painted and running that I'll post you know, on eBay. And on the sites so so that's it you might see the video uh, just so you know of this thing running and you're not going to be able to put comments on it because I figured that would be a better way uh, to sell it if there's not any comments written on the bottom of it even even though they'll all be good and um, I don't know if you guys realize that I don't know if it's new because I never looked at it before but I was uh, trying to check out some of the new things for YouTube and the Google Plus and all this and I'm just rummaging around playing around I really don't understand half of it and mostly because I don't want to it doesn't really matter to me but um, I noticed if I go to my video manager and I look at a video say it has 10 hits on it and 5 comments if I click on it there, sometimes I might only get one comment to reply to. So then I thought about what Street Rider 100 said is you click on the comments, which I did, and then all the comments appear. And you can go down to the bottom to the left and you can click on likes and dislikes. And it doesn't tell you who liked or disliked it, but it tells you where it came from, which I found pretty interesting. Because I've been getting a rash of dislikes. And I don't care. But I just found it interesting that they're 
all from one place. And I think if they're all from one place, I think they're all from one person. But uh, yeah, I found that I found that pretty interesting that you could do that. And uh, I know you can go into a different section, and it breaks down. At least it broke down the United States uh, to my views and how long the, that particular video ran. So say the video ran eight minutes. It'll tell you how many people watched it in that state. So we'll just pick a state, New York. It'll tell you, say, 10 people watched it, and it'll tell you the percentage and the amount of average time that they watched the video. So if it's an eight-minute video, and you have an average watching of two minutes, all your videos suck. <laughs> That's the way I think of it. <laughs> but if you have an average running time of, say, seven minutes out of all the eight minutes, and 40 people watched it, I think that's pretty good. And New York will always be low in my book because, I'll be honest with you, sometimes I rewatch a video, which isn't a big deal, but if I go back to comment on a video, like I see comments appear, I just go into my inbox, I look for any video and I click on it, and I go to my video manager. So I might click on people's videos two or three times, I might click on my same video five, six, eight times and watch like a tenth of it. And they'll comment and I'll just leave. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know if that's the right way. It's but I've been doing it that way always. So, but uh, with that said, I think it's time to uh, run this thing to work and clean it. Oh, well, there it is, guys. Stripped the tank, painted it. It's still shiny, but it's gonna be flat black. Stripped the side tins, the top tin. Stripped the motor down. Got 90% of the paint off the engine. If I would have got it all. I'm going to paint it. Uh, that's going to be satin black, uh, flat black too. Just got to let it dry. So, didn't paint the caps. Left the caps like a natural something. So, looks like it was a good engine. Or is a good engine that was. Uh, like I said, I won't sell something to somebody. I really don't know anything about this engine other than what you know was said to us and I only know what was said to me when I looked at the engine and I didn't buy it and then someone I know bought it and then I bought it from him all on the same day so uh, like I said the only thing I did to it is I, I popped the cover off to look inside and make sure there wasn't any you know cracked connector rod caps or the thing was full of hunks of metal or something like that and the inside of the engine looks spotless. So, with that, I just cleaned it up and put it back together. Called it good. And, uh, there's what it is. So, runs good. I'm gonna sell it like this. You know, put back together. Uh, minus the header. So, and I didn't do anything to the front cover. All I did was wipe it off and clean off the aluminum thing on it uh, you could see from putting duct tape on it from running it in the cold um, I'd rather do it that way than the people could see who actually made the motor supposedly I mean that's the way it came I can only assume they did you know I can't be held to that and uh, I know that company's still in business and I know they do a lot of carding engines so they could always repaint the front cover and put a new sticker on if they wanted but I'm gonna let this dry and I guess we'll fire it up tomorrow I was hoping to fire it up today, but it's way too late now. This will never set up in time. So maybe in a couple hours we can get it together at least. And uh, that'll be it. And that's going to be it. So that's about all I know about it, guys. Oof. I guess I put the paint on a little heavy there. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>